good morning guys, YouTube people, world, everywhere, wherever, wherever, wherever. <clears throat> morning. I think I'm going to focus on cleaning. I'm going to clean up all this junk, put all my tools away. And... I gotta unbox all these parts and I gotta get rid of all the boxes and I gotta install the parts. So, man, I hate putting tools away to pull them back out. So, we have the trash man coming today. I'm going to. I gotta find my actual receipt of the parts I ordered. Um, I gotta put all these boxes out in the trash. So we got that. We got ball joint with uh, with one end Glenn says some brass knuckles you know walk around just punch people kapow and stab them in the top of the head tink tink anyway uh, yeah I got a lot of a lot of trash I gotta sort through lots of bolts crap Um, just want to clean up the garage a little bit, just in case. What the freak was that? The old dragonfly flew by my head like a freaking helicopter. Um, yeah. Go through all this, clean up all this crap, organize it all, start doing this. I gotta clean up just in case the dude wants to come buy that engine. What's up, Dragonfly? Um, yeah, because if he wants to come buy that engine, then I gotta move everything. Um, speaking of everybody asking questions about the motor, now all of a sudden I'm getting, I got three people, because I have it on offer up. Sorry if it's too noisy. I have it on offer up. I had it on offer up for a year. I've never taken the listing down. Um, but, yeah, so people are still messaging me, asking me if it's for sale, so two people last night, one guy is really interested, but he wants me to bring it to him, and I said, well, you come out here, you pay for it, you pay for it, and, uh, I can load it on my flatbed trailer. And I can follow you to your house if you give me what I'm asking for it. And he said, oh, why don't you just save us a step and just bring it to me? And I said, not loading the freaking thing on the trailer, not driving down there, all for you to say, oh, all I got is X amount of dollars or something stupid. So I told him, no, I won't do that. I'm not dumb. He goes, oh, I'm not trying to rip anybody off. I said, oh, I don't care. I don't care. I don't have time. So I just told him that if he wants it, come here, pay for it. He can help me load it. I'll deliver it to his house. And I'll come back. Anyway, I'll just blab it. Oh, my gosh. So, um, yeah, let me... Get something to open that. Let's use this. Let's use this. Got a big fire about, I don't know, 20 miles away from my house. People are getting evacuated. I know some people that live up there that are getting evacuated. Oh, I'll just put this up here. Hopefully they're right. 
I'll match them up before I get rid of the boxes. This box has seen better days. Oh. Anyway. So, yeah, I don't know if the guy's gonna, if the guy's interested in getting that motor or not. Um, he will need to get, he will need to get a, uh, crank case filter. Um, he'll have to add his own oil just to, uh, regular old little maintenance stuff that he's gonna have to do on his own. So let me, let me throw one of these axles up here. So can I lift it by one hand? Nope. But I got a cameraman. A cameraman. Which is my camera hand. Probably my receipt in there. Let's do it again. Um, anyway. CarQuest Axle. Let's see. Oh, just says an axle. So my receipt will just be the receipt online. Um, uh, anyway. Like I was getting a little child in here. <laughs> Damn it. I thought it was going to be a little Oh! Sorry, guys. But it is what it is. It's me. It's the way I am. Got a guy that commented on a video and said, Sound just like Donald Trump. And, uh, <laughs> all I commented back was, Oh, thank you. He's a smart guy. Or something like that. Because I, I don't know if he was trying to get me to be political, but I don't get political. I don't really care. I don't care about all that nonsense. Because they're all. Corrupt liars. Just out to take money. All of them. No matter if you're not getting a paycheck. Or you are getting a paycheck. Anybody that makes you pay taxes for services that you don't get. Then uh, I think you're pretty a pretty corrupt ordeal. So I kind of wonder if I have to take this uh, ABS tone ring off. Let's see what it looks like on here. Yeah, because these don't have... Those don't have a tone ring. So I'll probably have to knock that off. Looks the same. Same, same. used but I guess it's rebuilt whatever it said new new axles but doesn't look too new to me oh man anyway let me uh let me get that other axle open let me get all these boxes I'm just gonna compare everything make sure everything's right if uh something's not right then I will have to keep the box and probably ship it back. But so far everything looks right. These are, you know, six lug discs, brake pads. I didn't take the brake pads off, but they look like a Chevy brake pad. You know, this goes on the outside of the caliper. And this one goes on the inside of the caliper, goes into the cylinder. I don't know. 
I'll take a wheel off and check. Um, not sure what I'll do first. But I need that. Um, I also have to tighten up all the steering components in there. But anyway, I'll probably have to do the axle first. Or maybe not. I don't know. I'll probably take them off. Do the wheel bearing or the the uh, ball joints slash brass knuckles, and then uh, work my way back in. Do the axles, come back out, and then uh, do the brakes. So you'll see the progress. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So next video will be of the ball joints of doing the ball joints. Thankfully, I already did all the hard work. The rivets are drilled out, they're gone, they're beat out. My shoulder was hurting uh, for like three or four days after beating those rivets out. So anyway, let me get to it. <clears throat> get the rest of this crap out of the boxes. I got a, all the old tie rod crap. That's all going to the scrap side of the yard. And uh, yeah, got to clean up tools. You don't need to see all that. So, alright guys. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Follow. Um, and then for the shocks, I still got to do the shock deal. I can do the shock deal. Man, I might have to do that first. Because I'm going to have to cut in there and do stuff. And yeah, I'm going to do the shock deal first. So I'll have to get the welder over here. Weld in some brackets. I don't want to have to take these wheels off a bunch of times. So, anyway, whatever video it is, stay tuned for the next video. Subscribe, comment, do what you guys have been doing. Thank you for doing what you guys have been doing. We'll see you guys on the next video. Later.